Hey you guys, it's Monday. I actually feel a little bit better though than what I felt these past couple of days. So I'm not really complaining. My hands are ashy. <laughs> I am. I look ashy. Antoine is kind of cold today, but it's okay. Um, I'm only going to be at work half day today because I requested to be off. And the fact, and I made my doctor's appointment per that request. And my doctor's appointment was a new doctor. And there's no way I'm not going to not go because A, I haven't been on my blood pressure medicine since a minute. And I know when I do go there, they're probably not even going to put me on back on everything that I had because, um, because my, um, levels and everything are going to be all off and I know my blood pressure is going to be sky high because I really haven't been, um, doing what I'm supposed to do. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to sit here and try and sugarcoat oh yeah I've been taking care of myself no I haven't so um, when I do get to the doctor I need to get back on that so A I don't die at an early age you know we can't have that and um, also I need to get it together like I don't know why I'm sitting here contemplating with this job if I'm gonna leave early I would matter of fact I already text my supervisor and I let her know that I'm leaving early like you can't tell me I can't leave you can't threaten me and fire me because I will call the labor board I am sick I am ill I am not functional to work in these type of conditions and this job always tries to push me and bring me there oh so let me tell you what happened last night babies I was so upset. Let me tell y'all why. So, like around 8.30, maybe around 8.30, I believe it was. Yeah, 8.30, I had, um, I had went to the gas station because I wanted to get me, um, a black and mild. So, so I lost my train of thought that quick. And so anyway, this is why I got to get myself together. But anyway, so I, I went to go buy a black and mouth at the gas station up the street. Me and my daughter, we get in the car or whatever. And um, I go to the ATM. Type in my little pin number or whatever. And it declined. Okay, so now I'm pissed because I'm like, why is my shit declining? So, I um, tried it again, of course, like what any normal person would do. I tried it again because, A, it's a couple things with my account. Even if I'm overdrawn, I still have overdraft protection. So, my card should have went through. It should not have declined and embarrassed me at the goddamn store. So, I'm sitting here at the ATM trying to hold my composure together, you know, and it just keeps on declining. I think I did it maybe three times before I said, you know what, to hell with it, let me go to another store. Um, so, I go to another store or whatever, same thing happens, it declines. So, now really getting pissed off to the max because um I mean yeah it's just too much that I'm dealing with and I shouldn't have to go through this foolishness with my bank and I never and I've been with this bank for years like this is the one thing two things that I can honestly tell you guys if I like the company I'm gonna stay with them like Geico I have been with Geico for years ever since I think I got my driver's license which was in what 2012 
I've been down on my driver's license since then. No, 2010. No, 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 no. I got to Vegas. When did I move to Vegas? I moved to Vegas in 2000. So, yeah, I've had it since the year 2000. As soon as I moved to Vegas, I got my driver's license there. For some strange reason, the whole time I lived on the East Coast, I couldn't get my driver's license. So, I, um... Moved to Vegas, got my driver's license, and ever since I've had my driver's license and I've known how to drive, I um I um I've been with Geico. So just like with the bank, I moved back here to the East Coast and found a I, I tried every bank, like the Wells Fargo's, like the um what do you call it? The Bank of America's, the SunTrust, all of these well-known banks, I've tried them and they have screwed me over every single solitary time. The unions, credit unions. And this one particular bank that be at the um, Walmart, it's called Wood Forest, had the best features I was sold when they told me everything that was available everything that they had I was all for it I was like okay this is it you know not a high interest rate um not a high overdraft fee my overdraft fee is only $29 even though that $30 can go towards something else but I mean it's still not like Bank of America's which is $60 or with Wells Fargo which I think I think there's a $60 too so, for $39 or something like that. But anyway, mine is $29 for the overdraft fee, and I like that. And on top of everything else, they give me a $500 overdraft protection on my card. So, if and ever there's an emergency, like last night was, because I needed that black and mild, if it's ever an emergency, I can just use it. And I don't always do that. You know, I don't want to sound irresponsible or whatever the case may be. I don't always do that. But there are times when I'm hard up and I don't always have money. So I have to swipe my card, you know, and wait till my money. Damn, that person's going to hit. Damn, he was going to run into his bag or something. My God. So anyway, um... Anyway, um, I'm sitting mad now because I can't get through to the bank. The banks are closed on Sundays. I'm calling and calling and calling, and nobody is picking up nor responding. So, needless to say, my Sunday was screwed up because I couldn't get a black and mild, and I, um, I couldn't, um, Okay, don't do no wide turn, baby. Small turns, bitch. Um, so, I, uh, let me park right here. So, anyway, y'all all, so, that just irritated me. So, anyway, um, I'm sitting in there mad because I can't get a black and mad. I was already stressed. Okay, she was about to get cussed out. But anyway, um, let me calm down. It's Monday. But um, so with that being said, I was mad. So then I go and I said, you know, you already know, y'all should already know. Roberta called them ASAP this morning. They opened at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So that means I had to wait for it to be 8 o'clock my time. As soon as my clock said 7.59, oh, I called them. So I'm dialing up their number, and so she, the man comes on the phone. First of all, this is what I don't like with customer service, being that I've worked in customer service and I still work in customer service. You're not supposed to talk over people when they're going off. And I was gonna let them hold it, okay? They was gonna hold it, and I don't care what nobody said. You was gonna hold it, because you put me through some inconvenience. So I get through. He's talking about Miss Ghani, da 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 da
So finally, I said, look, I just need to know why my card declined. I don't even need to hear nothing else from you. I don't need you to tell me about no deals, no sweepstakes I may have won. I don't want to hear nothing. I just want to hear why I was embarrassed at the goddamn going gas station. So, finally, um, he says to me, um, yeah, it was declined due to insufficient funds. That was his answer he gave me. Now, y'all remember what I just said? I said I have overdraft protection, and I was only like maybe two hundred something dollars overdrawn in my account. So, insufficient funds. I'm not trying to hear that. Um, not trying to hear you sit here and tell me the reason why my card was declined was due to insufficient funds when I have overdraft protection. So, needless to say. They wasn't saying a damn thing that I was trying to hear. Then finally, he transfers me over to a supervisor. Because I wasn't trying to hear him. So he transfers me over to a supervisor. And the supervisor, she come on the phone like she halfway crawled out the bed. And I was like, um, yeah, I'm trying to understand why my car wasn't working and why it was declined. I know they say don't leave water in the car. But when it stays in the car, this shit is good and cold. Mm. So, um, uh -huh. and she told me their reasoning for my card having issues was because um, they're having some technical difficulties on their side. That's why I couldn't even access the um I couldn't even access the online banking to find out what was wrong. So she was like, oh, we apologize for the inconvenience. We're sorry, blase, blase. And hopefully you'll be able to use it today. Meaning today, Monday. That's not okay. Because I better be able to use it today. Um, what? I have a whole, I have a life. I have things I have to do. You're not about to put me on hold because y'all having technical difficulties and you don't know what the problem is. So I was slight perturbed and I'm still slight perturbed because, um, I don't want this gum. Because that's not the way we do business. You don't just tell people, oh, okay, we're holding your money. <laughs> And you won't, you may be able to use your card, you know, because now I have money in there. Money was deposited. By the grace of God, I get paid around the clock, okay? Um, something, some type of form of income is coming in. And that just pissed me off, like, on so many levels. Oh, I do have a brush. Oh, I was hoping I had one. Yeah. So that just pissed me off on so many levels and I told him, look, I better be able to use it. I'm going to call my local bank and be like, issue me another card. Point blank period. Somebody about to issue me another card. Or I'm taking it out on somebody's ass. I'm not playing with these people. Hold on. This glass is so on wrong. Yeah, I'm not playing with them today talking about hopefully you'll be able to use it i better be able to use it or it's gonna be hell for wood forest and like i said i've never had problems with wood forest before now i love this sweater that my grandmother gave me it was a beautiful sweater but it has a whole bunch of lint on it so that's what kind of has me a little mad when it comes to the sweater need for all this lint to get off me. Anywho, so let me go in here and cuss these people out of my job because like I said, I'm leaving today, like around two o'clock and I'm going to the doctor. And I hope Miss Jessie got my damn email. I'm not playing with her nor Diane. Y'all have a blessed day. I'm trying to have and start my morning off right but it seems as though people want to piss me off 
and get underneath my skin. It's supposed to be a nice day today. That's another reason why I would like to be off. Even though I just found out that on third on Wednesday, my kids is gonna have a day out of school. Why? So y'all stay blessed, only in the state of Virginia. Like I said, I don't wanna discourage anybody from moving to VA. Um, but I, I, I'm here, you know, I'm old. I'm, I wanna live old and gracefully and bow down and not have a lot of problems, but I'm already having problems. So, y'all have a blessed day and I will talk to you.